show you what I do for my feet every day on the ball. I've had plantar fasciitis for a couple of years now and uh, my job requires that I'm super active. So uh, because I'm on my feet a lot, uh, they hurt pretty much every day. Uh, but I find that the lacrosse ball has been the best solution for me and so I hope this helps you. I'll show you the, just kind of the sequence that I go through every day. Uh, if I use, if I do this before bed, it tends to be the best so that uh, my calves don't get super sore uh, during the night. Oftentimes I'll feel such tension in the back of the leg that it wakes me up um, and this tends to help with that. So what I'm doing is putting the ball right behind the ball of the foot in the center of the foot, my heel is down and I'm just pushing down on the ball and letting all the tissue on the top of the foot widen. I'm gonna do that for about 15, 20 seconds. You can even do it for about 30 seconds. Feels really good. And then what I'm gonna do is take the ball to the outside edge of the foot and roll from the outside to the inside and hit that big tendon of the big toe and I'm going to repeat that multiple times then I'm going to move the ball further back on the foot and do the same outside to inside and I'm going to do that for 30, 30 seconds to a minute and then uh, by the way that whole time the heel is going to be on the ground the toes will be off the ground <clears throat> what I tend to move to from there is putting the ball toward the back of the foot uh, closer to the heel because that tends to be where my foot hurts the most um, and what I'm going to do is keep the heel on the ground put pressure on the ball and I'm going to move the toes up and down I'm going to do that for anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds all of this should take two to three minutes total and then what I'm going to do after I've done that for a little bit is take my heel off the ground I'm just going to roll the ball back and forth. I'm sorry I'm a terrible cameraman when I'm talking and trying to do this. I tend to find that the tendon uh, behind the big toe is uh, kind of carries the most tension so what I do is I'll put the ball on that tendon and I'll pull that big toe up push down and I'll do that at different spots on that tendon. All of this hurts a little bit if you do it every day it hurts less um, what I find uh, when I've recommended this to people is anywhere between seven and ten days after the recommendation if they do it every day for just a few minutes their foot feels so much better and then the last thing I do is I just kind of go back and forth on each tendon of every toe and then uh, oftentimes what I'll do after that is also work on the, the the muscle on the outside of the shin just making small circles you can also do the same on the inside because it's it's the musculature here that sends these tendons down that wrap under your foot so if you do the same thing here it's just kind of an up and down motion all along that shin bone I find that it helps a great deal really the best way to do that is to cross the leg over and then work side to side this position. You can also pull your toes and uh, just move your foot up and down as you do that. I find it helps a great deal. So the musculature on the outside of the shin as well as the inside of the shin right in there. Okay, I hope that helps. Take care, okay?